Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video we're doing a quad workout as I attempt to flex them for you here and kind of fail to be honest but we'll just get straight into it. All you need for this workout is a raised platform so a bench or a chair or you can use the second step of your staircase. Make sure that you are near to a wall with some space on it and you might want to grab a dumbbell, can of beans or a bottle of water but you don't necessarily need that. First movement that we're going to do will be the goblet squat. So holding the dumbbell in front of you, we're going to sit back in a squat position. Ready and go. So I want you to keep your feet just a little bit less than hip width apart. We're sitting back, keeping the chest nice and high. As always, when you squat, I want you to start the movement by pushing your hips back. So hips go back, chest stays up. You should have the weight of your body going through your heels. So I want you to be able to wiggle your toes. This really helps you to balance your weight well, ensuring that you don't overstrain the knees. I don't want your knees falling in front of your feet as you're sitting back, keeping the chest up. Keep going, you guys are doing really well. And rest well done. Next movement we're gonna do will be some step up knee drives. So stepping up onto the bench and driving the opposite knee through. If you're more advanced, you can do these just without the stepping down off the bench. So you just keep driving and you get a really intense burn in the quad of the leg that's on the bench. Ready and go. So stepping up, driving through with the opposite knee, really squeezing the quads and the glutes as we step all the way up. I want you to drive your arms as you do so as well. So keeping the arms kind of at a right angle and you drive them back, the elbow comes back behind you as the opposite knee drives through. Keep going, you guys. As with the squats, you do wanna try and keep the weight of your body through the mid to back foot of the leg that's on the bench and that you are stepping up with, okay? So keeping good posture and good form to get the best results. Well done, guys and rest and we're going to do the same thing but on the other leg so again if you want to make this more difficult just keep stepping through without stepping completely off the bench otherwise we step up we drive the knee through and we step back down ready and go well done keep going keeping good form chest up intentional with the movement doing so so well driving that knee nice and high as it comes through in front stepping all the way up being intentional with that mind to muscle connection keeping good posture the core is nice and tight we're not overarching our lower back you're doing really well five more seconds and rest well done next movement we're going to do will be wall sit so that's why you need some space near a wall so we're going to hold a 40 second wall sit sitting back ready and go so you want your thighs to be parallel to the floor you want your shins to be perpendicular to the floor and parallel to the wall okay so you want to be thinking in right angles basically you're sitting nice and low chest up really feeling that burn in the quads the muscles at the front of the thigh breathe through got an imaginary chair underneath you we're really pushing through well done guys and rest well done next movement we're doing will be the single leg squats so we're doing a variation of these so you sit back with one leg up with two legs back with one leg up with two alternating as you go if you're more advanced and you're comfortable with doing full depth single leg squats then go for it if you're a beginner you can do squats on both legs ready and go so the beginner variation is just shown on the lower left here so legs together sitting back into a squat Otherwise, we're doing single leg squats, so on one leg, sit back, both legs back up. One leg to lower, both legs back up. Advanced variation, we're carrying on with one leg all the way down and all the way up. 
keep going you're doing really well either way we're getting a really good workout really working those quads coming down as low as you can but while staying balanced i still want good form on this so hips go back weight through the heels don't want your knee falling too far forwards don't want it falling in or out and rest keeping good control form is like low-key everything i always stress form i know i go on about it but it's because it's going to get you the best results having good athletic form okay so take a little breather grab a drink if you need to in like the next five seconds because we're going back in with the goblet squats ready and go so sit back and up so holding the weight in front just really helps you to keep good posture these are a really good variation of squats to do um, if you're just beginning so my feet are just about just a little bit less than hip width apart i'm sitting back pushing my hips back and notice i'm not letting my knees fall in or overly outwards i'm sitting back i'm keeping good form i'm squeezing the glutes to come up my chest stays up doing really well guys keep going and rest well done next we're going to do some step up knee drives so stepping up back onto that platform whether you've got a chair a bench or you're using the bottom of a staircase if you're more advanced, we're not stepping off the bench, we're just continuously doing that knee drive. Ready and go. I really want you guys to feel free whenever you're doing my workouts, by the way, to, <laughs> to do what suits you. I know that sounds silly, because what's the point in me telling you what to do if you're just gonna do whatever you want? But genuinely, listen to your body. We're all at different stages. We're all, you know, we need different amounts of rest. Um, so yeah, just feel free. But do try and push yourself, do try and keep going. So really driving that knee through, coming all the way up nice and tall, we're not being passive with this, we're being intentional, we're intentional about this. And rest for 20 seconds. And we're going to do the same thing but on the other leg. Again with the advanced variation, we're not pausing. We're stepping up off the bench we're keeping the one leg on the bench and driving through and go step down back up step down back up keeping good form weight through the mid foot to heel driving that knee all the way up i want that knee to come nice and high driving with the arms as well to get that momentum like you're taking off into the air you're doing so so well guys 15 more seconds. Keep going, well done. And rest. Then we're moving back to the single leg squat variations. So um, one leg down, two legs to come back up. If you're more advanced, you can do one leg all the way down, all the way back up. We're swapping legs as we go. You can also do this sitting back to the bench or the raised surface if that helps. Ready and go. Beginners doing narrow leg squats instead. Still getting a really great quad workout here. So sit back, keep the chest up, wait for the heels. I don't want that knee falling in. I really want you to focus on controlling that knee. So basically the knee should just stay above the um, mid foot, okay? So it shouldn't be falling inside the foot or outside the foot. It shouldn't be falling too far forwards. And the way that you do that is by checking all the other points. So chest up, hips move back, weight through the heels, controlling the movement. And rest, well done. We're nearly there, you guys, nearly completed this quadriceps workout I'm going to finish off with the wall sit and I got into position for the wall sit so I'd be ready and then realised that that meant that I had already started the wall sit which was pretty gutting but it's fine I got an extra 10 seconds work <laughs> ready and go so we're sitting against the wall nice and low thinking in right angle so the knee right angle chest up Breathe through as we hold this position. It's the last bit of the workout, so push through. You can do it. I believe in you. You're capable beyond, beyond anything any of us have ever imagined. You can do it. 
staying nice and low. I know it's tempting to want to come up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold for a count of two and release slowly. And relax, well done. That is it for the workout. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back in my next video.